Yeah, hi there. I still have times presents work for extending Heidel time for recognizing temporal expressions in German texts. It has been developed by the text technology group at Goethe University Frankfurt. And it's me, Andy Looking, who will give you a brief guide through this work. The work will be presented as a poster in the 2022 Language Resources and Evaluation Conference. Motivation for doing the extension derive from observations we made when dealing with text from biodiversity within a specialized information service system. Here we found that certain uh, expressions, trivial um, spelling variants, for instance, for season terms like Herbst, Fall, it's an old-fashioned form in uh, German, uh, are not covered by Heidel time yet, but we want to um, nonetheless recognize these terms as well. So we looked for uh, this and related patterns, which are not yet covered by Heidel time and provided an extension. In order to do so, we provided um, different uh, approaches. The first is simple manual exploration, where we looked at uh, example texts and looked for false positive expressions. Here we found well spelling variants lexical extensions, but also more complex compounding uh, expressions and expressions which forms durations or set terms, speaking in terms of Timex 3 standards. So all these have been collected and try to be systematized into uh, pattern extensions within Heidel time extensions. A particular annoying thing uh, is to exclude things which are not uh, temporal expressions but look like one. A um, prominent example is season terms used as proper names. So summer in hot summer or summer holiday obviously is a temporal expression, it denotes a season, but it can also be used as a name, as a Mr. Summer or Mrs. Summer. We want to exclude these um, things from our temporal expressions, from our temporal recognizer, of course. So we can design a negative rule saying that uh, if we have uh, Mr. or Miss following by a season term excluded from the retrieval. But we cannot stop here. We came across variants like assistant summer, so there's a profession term coming before the name. Accordingly, we went to the German Agency for Employment and um, asked them for a list of profession terms, which we added as a pattern file to the Heidel time extension. But this is not still not enough. We also found th uh, things like uh, the married couple summer. So we tried to come up with a more general approach. And to this end, we used the transformer-based language model BERT. This is provides a, a contextual embedding in such a way that you can mask certain terms in an input string and uh, ask a bird to uh, fill in this mask slot, which we did with our target strings where season names are used as names. So we collected the roughly 30,000 topmost um, suggestions by uh, BERT and added them as a pattern file to our extension. Finally, we looked at other time banks, the French one, the Basque one, and the meantime corpus, and extracted expressions which has been annotated as Timex 3 expressions. We translated them into German, fed them in the Heidel time system, and observed whether um, these Timex expressions are also recognized by the German language module. By this approach, we found another 83 sample patterns which have been added to our Heidel time extension. So the question, of course, now is what is the coverage gain of our extension? 
In order to answer this question, we prepared an evaluation corpus consisting of different kinds of texts, parliamentary text, uh, literature text, um, bio biological texts, newspapers texts, and Wikipedia articles, pre-processed within, within a certain pipeline, um, because some of the rules make reference to part of speech text, and compared it to the original Palutan. Our extension found roughly 4,500 more Timex 3 expressions, which is a gain of 8.5%. However, this result has to be put into perspective. There is some overgeneration hiding here, which is mainly due to this innocently looking small word noon, which in English translates into now or well. So now obviously is a temporal expression, well is not. So it's a discourse particle, which is uh, difficult to distinguish in terms of negative rules and context from the temporal use. So we removed the rule which detects noon, and um, in this case we still find a gain in coverage of 2.7%. Given what we are interested in detecting as much temporal expressions as uh, we can, which is often the case in our context, but in digital humanities context, for instance, where also rare expressions, rare occurrences are of interest, this is still a worthwhile thing to do. You can obtain um, the hard time extension from the Text Technology Labs GitHub repository. If you have further questions, please come to the poster presentation. So, bye then.